Hello. It's me, Michael Bach, your diversity dude, and it's time for the first episode of Monday Morning Musings of 2018. Yay! Happy New Year, Bonane! Um, it's Monday, January the 8th. Uh, it's our first day back. So many things. So excited. Had a great break. I hope you did too. Um, uh, and I don't even know where to begin with things I want to talk about, but I'm, today's episode I'm going to talk about is the Golden Globes, last night at the Golden Globes. Um, now many people, my hair is awful today. Sorry. It's snowing so badly here in Toronto and I had to wear a hat and it just, like, I just, it's looking very, anyway. Um, uh, if you didn't watch the Golden Globes, I don't normally watch award ceremonies. I find them to just be Hollywood kind of self gratifying themselves in front of the world. And I don't really care. So I don't usually watch, but this one was uh, very much a protest. It was very much all about the Me Too movement. Everyone wore black most people wore black and if you didn't wear black you stood out like a sore thumb um most of the speeches at least all of the women um stood up and and really uh talked about the women in their lives and supporting women um uh you know natalie portman in introducing the best director said and here are your all male best director nominees um, so th this was a gloves off, it's time to make change. Um, Oprah, if you didn't watch Oprah's speech, Google it, watch it on the interweb. Um, she's incredible. Um, yeah, that's all I'll say about that. But it got me thinking about Canada. And um, of course, if you didn't read about it recently, Albert Schultz, the uh, one of the founders and artistic director of Soul Pepper Theatre in Toronto has uh, been called out by four actors who have um, uh, brought civil suits against him um, related to sexually inappropriate behavior, unwanted touching, et cetera. And, um, you know, that's the artistic world. That's the sort of rich and famous theater, film, TV. Um, but the reality is this behavior is happening all the time, every day in every community across the country, in every profession, banks, hospitals, coffee shops, you name it. Um, wherever there's a power dynamic, um, wherever there are people, um, there is inappropriate behavior, whether it's between men and women, between men and men, between women and women. Uh, we see it all the time and it has to stop. And so I guess what I was thinking about was twofold. First of all, it's, my message is primarily to men and that is to say, knock it off. You're on notice. We're watching. It is, there is no world in which it is appropriate to make comments, to touch, uh, to have sex or expect sex with a colleague, be it a subordinate or a superior. Um, it's just not appropriate. And that sex with a woman or a man, um, it's not appropriate and it needs to stop. Get your jollies elsewhere. I, I don't care what you do. First of all, you should just masturbate more, but go away. Stop it. Um, it, it needs to end. And you're on notice because the world is watching. And if you think it's going to stop with Albert Schultz, you're wrong. There's, I, I, we're not even close to done in terms of the impact of the Me Too movement. Um, and also the Time's Up uh, initiative in the United States with um, the Legal Defense Fund for women uh, who are victims of uh, sexual violence. Um, and the other is to the HR departments of the world and say, come on, this is enough. Everyone claims to have a zero tolerance policy, but then you hear about HR people who are advising um, the victims who come forward and saying, well, you know, boys will be boys, or you shouldn't have worn such a short skirt. Victim blaming is done. It's 2018, it's done. We did that last year, we don't do it anymore. You have to have a policy, you have to have a procedure that takes these things very seriously and responds accordingly. I don't care how big a biller the person is or how much they bring into the organization or how long they've been there. If a person is proven to have committed sexual assault, if they've um, um, done something that 
is frankly illegal, then the punishment is not to continue their employment and put them through sensitivity training. It's to fire them. That's punishment. Every employer needs to do that. They need to really stick to this zero tolerance policy because Albert Schultz is the first and there will be more. Mark my words that 2018 will see a lot of high powered men fall um, because of their behavior as they should. So it's time for all of us to work together to create a space where people can work and do their jobs and not fear uh, some sort of reprisal or fear coming forward uh, with allegations related to uh, sexual assault or inappropriate touching, comments, bullying, it needs to end. So how's that for a first Monday morning musings? Have a fantastic week. I hope you're all enjoying being back at work. I know you're not, but whatever. It's snowing outside. Don't worry. In a few months, that'll be gone. Um, remember to subscribe to my channel. It'll be here somewhere. There's a link, something to click on. I don't know. And uh, I will see you next Monday for another episode of Monday Morning Musings.